Emptying bins like it's our job. Because it is. These bins all had gains, 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 and systems, and random eBay stuff. And Matt's adding another one like a real man, and I'm very excited about that. And now they're gone, gone, gone. And now we're going to take them over, you know, across, across down yonder to the other shed and get them out of here because, you know, we like to keep it uh, clutter free. And I think we'll need about five bins at a time for that we might actually be using for random purposes. And then I think we're gonna remove all the lids from these bins today, uh, just so that they're easily accessible. You can just pull them out, grab whatever you need to grab, uh, at least if the bins are staying in here for a while, which a lot of these ones will be. Looks like we are getting in place the sticker system. The stickers actually came in yesterday. So yellow, systems that are tested but need cleaning. Right, so it's, it's half, half of the process is done. We gotta clean them ship them out red fully unprocessed you know needs testing and cleaning unprocessed cords all together uh, unprocessed systems whatever tested but needs cleaning so you get you get the idea and this will make it a lot easier for us what are we saying orange means alpel that's like it's going to be there for a while maybe or uh yeah it's to be it needs components okay okay so it's it's better than red because it's and tested, right. but it's it's not yellow. Like for instance, clean the NESs up here are orange <clears throat> because they're good to go, but we don't have controllers. We don't or, have, or, or get we don't have games. Yeah, we don't have games. Okay. So it's showing that they're good, but they need something. I have, I have five Mario 1, 2, 3s on the way, so that'll be good. That one we got to get to. That's still green. All those game cubes. Yep. So we'll get to that today. Gosh, we don't have that many more green ones. You guys got through almost all of them yesterday. That is... Fantastic. Oh, there's one more right here. Amazon, also. Amazon green. So that means I need to take that. I think so. There's a switch in there. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's another green one. And another green one. And another. Okay, so there's at least four green ones left. And uh, I think we'll be getting to all those today. So I, I like it. Like, you can just do a quick scan for the greens and, and know that you need to grab them. And really, it'll typically probably be yellows. We don't have that many greens. We just had a unique situation moving in before we could get stuff out. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a good system. I commend you guys for it. And we sh we're going to have so many like empty slots too. And we can, uh -huh. we, can, we can do some damage. Cleaning, making space. We're going to be able to clear one of the storage units here pretty soon. So uh, get down to one storage unit instead of two. That'll reduce my monthly uh, bills too. One thing that we do often now, we just figured this out, is that you can schedule pickups through PirateShip.com for UPS. So it's like $3, $4, something like that, to schedule a pickup for basically any number and any weight of packages, which is insane. We used to bring all of our packages to PacMail, Alpal, Sky Guy, Brother Day before them would run those, and, and I would pay extra for them to do that. Nobody likes it. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't fun for you guys. And it wasn't fun and it was expensive for me. So scheduling the pickups are great and just saving time for yourself. You know, if you have UPS packages, if you're doing Amazon FBA, go on piratesit.com, schedule the pickup. If you have a typical residence, I don't think they would do like apartments and stuff like that. But if you have a home, then you can schedule a pickup. So note that that's what we're doing. And then I am currently working on uh, processing games. And this has been fun uh, just rolling back to use these cases if the games need it. I'm doing a lot of this, the case cleaning and that type of stuff on the front end. And then any discs that need resurfacing are being put here. They'll go on the shelf back there so that Alpal or Matt know which discs to clean next. These ones are fully ready for listing. I just replaced the case on this one because it had a crack right there. And now it's like mint condition. So. That's exciting. I love getting the games fully ready to list. After they're clean, they come to my desk and there's nothing more that I need to do. It's just scan through, list them as fast as possible and make it happen. I've listed about uh, maybe 40 games so far today. Definitely want to get a couple hundred out the door today. So we're going to make it happen. Well, we got the bins out to the, to the shed and we do still have a lot of good stuff in here. So huh, one thing we realized is we need to get the rest of the stuff that's still in cardboard just kind of randomly throughout in plastic with lids so that we make sure that it's well protected because we have the bins available now we haven't had bins available for a while but we're gonna have a lot now because we are going to town over in the big barn and then we'll have a lot of empty shelf space we're gonna consolidate 
make it look nice in here, maybe consolidate in the barn and kind of get ready for like a big storage unit move day in the future. So we'll have a lot of empty slots to receive more items into these areas. And then I just found this Zippo lighter, which looks epic and it is marked at $1,000. This is a Hobby Shop Ron item. I've never seen this before. Have not opened this box. So it's a Chrysler Conference Master Technician lighter. And it looks, it does look very old. So I am very intrigued. And then these are super heavy and they kind of look, I don't think they're silver or anything, but I'm intrigued by these too, just because of the sheer weight. And really everything that came out of this box, like these, these Zippos in the box, probably have some pretty good value. So I'm at least gonna bring this one in for Alpel to look into. Maybe whatever's inside of this, cause this one has some good weight. And we'll see if we actually have something crazy. Tough to find the exact one, but it does look like maybe around 300 bucks. The other two literally couldn't find anything, including on Worth Point. So I would guess those are in the 40 to $50 range for a standard nice Zippo in the box. When you're running a reselling business, you got to sell some stuff. I've been trying to tell you this. Okay. I think I get it now. He gets it now. I don't even know if you were in frame there. I was talking to Al Pal and he's selling stuff. Finally, he's selling stuff. He actually just started listing on eBay. I have sold. We have sent off um, like 150 games. G -g 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 games. Uh, how many systems would you guess, Matt? Huh? Like 20? Around, yeah. around 20, give or take five, <laughs> something like that. Let me show you. Here's the Xbox One X. Uh, we reuse boxes when possible. Otherwise we use uh, 14, 12, six boxes for like 360s. We got a stack of them here. Xbox Ones go in those as well usually. We have officially cl cleared every green bin that was on the wall. And now we're gonna start getting to yellow bins that just need cleaning. They're tested, I'm, I'm, they need cleaning. I'm finding that some have not been tested. This one, I I think this was like a return. Falsely labeled. Yeah, like look at that, Action Replay DSi. Yep. Just sitting, that's, that's, that's a $100 nice. bill right yeah. there. Yeah, Bolo, Action Replay DSi. Look out for that. Yeah, 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 this, this right there. This little thing, and then if it's got like All a little yellow corner or something, it's, it's even, even better. better, yep. Um, up here though, I know those have been tested. PS3 Slims. Do this one. That's a good one. Okay. Tested needs cleaned. I did that. And over here, I have discs that will be cleaned. So we've cleaned a lot of those. And I have another stack that just got sent through, like basically 50 discs that are over in my bin. I got to show you kind of the setup we're going to run with here now. I'm excited about this. So we've done some, uh, <laughs> really we've done one massive whatnot with a ton of buy it now. It was like a thousand. And we sold like so many uh, it, and it was hectic that week preparing it so i'm kind of just preparing them now so we go to price charting round down price of the games certain games maybe they're not worth selling on amazon maybe they'll be um high demanded uh for whatnot just stuff that makes sense to put over there we're, we're putting in those bins and then this is like basically stuff to list on amazon for me so if i'm not getting to it right away i don't want it cluttering up my desk which is what has happened in the past so I'm just throwing them in here. These are all the discs that I've just cleaned. Amazon ready? Amazon ready, yes. Put it in? We shall, I shall label this bin as a list on Amazon bin. And then I've got room for two more bins under there. I probably won't usually use all of the space, but it's nice to have room to grow. And then the shed, I was cleaning up a little bit. We grabbed a bin of PS1 unprocessed games and Alpal put all those on this shelf. So this is kind of a shelf to, to get to fairly soon. This is where I've been pulling all the 360 games from, swapping out cases as needed. I'll probably do PS2 next because those are those are good sellers and we have a lot of good ones here. And then we'll just see which ones need cleaning, which ones don't, and get the ones that can be sold as quickly as possible. Same for PS3, PS4, and the PS1 games will be last priority because there are some lower dollar ones. Those aren't specifically set aside for Amazon like the other ones. But I just found a box that was was labeled home like it was meant to go inside so nice stuff and it's been out here for a long time we've got tons of nes games 
um, nicer like Saturn games, like cool Pokemon VHSs, SNES games, PS2, like box and 64 accessories, like all kind of interesting stuff. So this is a great find and I'm getting this right into the barn. Well, I just added a whole stack of new Super Mario Bros that are complete to the to be listed pile. Those as well. It's getting close to the end of the day, so I'm putting them in the bin. So they'll be out of the way. And then I've been in the shed for like an hour across the way, bringing stuff in, stuff that was in cardboard, stuff that um, probably should be brought in here because it's valuable. Uh, so look at this bin right here. Pokemon bin, just full of full of Pokemon goodness for whatnot. I think all of that. This is likely some really high-end eBay stuff from Hobby Shop Ron. And that was in a cardboard box, so I put that in plastic, brought it inside. More Pokemon items that'll probably be good for whatnot, or maybe even the Pokemon Pursuit. I think that Fleischman train will list probably at least a couple hundred dollars. Here's an Xbox original with the rental case. At least it was in there. It's not in there anymore. What happened here? Well, Alpel's going to put that Xbox right back in here. But I brought in a ton of stuff. So six slots were filled. That's one unprocessed. Uh, these were systems that were in the display case of the game barn. So he noted that because probably those are good to go. Unprocessed good games. This was um, the second half of that box I was showing you guys with like really nice stuff inside of it. And... It wasn't supposed to be out there. Is that in there? Mickey Mania? That's like a 80, 80 to hundred dollar game. Yeah, that is in there and minty. What is this? Oh my goodness. Woo baby. Yep, there's some some really nice stuff. Just randomly mixed with some lower end stuff. But lots of NES games, SNES games, and high end items. Oh, here's the other one. You got a little bit of math blaster. Uncommon game. What do you think about this, uh, Sky Guy? Am I supposed to know what this is? <laughs> I don't know. Peter, uh, are you here? Uh, holy crap! All right, what do you want? <laughs> is oh, that the game man. of me? Yeah, yeah, this is the one. Why is it not worth more? I mean, it's worth 150 bucks. I'm so. on the center cover. This needs to be worth at least 69.99. Tell me about your chin. Uh, well, it looks a little like. Uh, all right. Um, uh, no more. All right. All right. See, you. See you later. <laughs> so that's that. Lots of stuff brought in. And I feel good about it because, I mean, the humidity is like a crazy high percentage right now. And the cardboard stuff was, it just needed to be in plastic or it needed to be in here uh, because it was getting getting a little bit damp. Uh, we added to the Wii wheels, which I, I'm happy about because we were starting to run low. We found another bin of those. and. Added all these NES power cords that were in a random bin. Got some retro on, some good Amazon stuff. We made some great progress today. All in all, about 150 games sent off to Amazon. I think we're going to end the day with closer to 30 systems sent off. Every green bin processed. Uh, about, there's probably about 80 games in the bin to be listed on Amazon that'll go by very quickly. Multiple big boxes that we're sending off to different places to get sold. And, um... Uh, feeling feeling good uh the video of the barn tour came out today so on the main channel if you haven't seen that full tour go check out that out on the main channel but that's pretty much going to be it for this one it's about four o'clock that's usually when i like to be done um random crazy busy fun day that's gonna be it crap most tank bar will do say bye bye, bye. Have, have a good time okay see you later Matt, you haven't said bye yet. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs>